Hello guys, it's Rack, man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So today we're going to be talking about Celtic versus um, CFR Clutch. Probably saying that wrong. Apologize if I do. Uh, CFR Clutch is a team from uh, Romania, bro. Um, they were able to win this game, what, 4-3, man. Won on a 5-4 aggregate, bro. Did not expect them to win this series, bro. I thought Celtic would have won this series. I thought Celtic playing like in a better league and have a better squad overall, man. But was I surprised, bro. Um, this team play as a unit, bro. They have a lot of play that stepped up, and they never gave up, man. Uh, they pretty much came from uh, from be behind like twice, man, to win this game. Uh, George uh, Tukadian scoring the winning goals. Um, uh, Abdel Balel uh, Omrani, man, scoring two goals, bro. Scoring two goals, scoring a penalty, and uh, leading goal in the 88 man to pretty much win this game for them, man. Without him, um, they would they, they would never won this game, man. So. Um, shout out to him probably would have been a 2-2 uh, draw with Celtic advancing man So yeah, Celtic did alright man, but defensively they was very poor They gave away a, a poor penalty with one of the players man I forgot the name of the player, I want to say, I'm not sure man he, Either it was Colin McGregor or James Forrest Pretty much doing a dumb, a dumb freaking handball inside the box bro Pretty much, it was going towards one of the players across inside the box a lot pass inside the box, man. He jumped up and he hit it, man. The uh, Suarez versus Ghana in the 2010 World Cup type of handball, bro. And the referee didn't even give him a yellow card, bro. Not even a yellow card or a red card. That probably should have been a yellow red card for for, for that type of handball, man. But uh, Clutch were able to get the penalty. And um, um, Bilal Amrani, um, man, scored the winning, scored the, the penalty, man. So the first goal was came by Saprian Diak in the 27th minute, man. Great goal by him. Uh, to really start it off, bro. I believe that was a header too, man. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then um, Celtic pretty much equalized in the 51st minute with James Forrest, man, scoring a good goal. Great effort by him. Great step over by um, Otsane Edward, man. Edward did a great step over the f uh, and um, and James Forrest, man, pretty much um, control it, um, fake it, and, and, and shoot that goal, man, and scoring the opening goal. Then it was Adson Edward, man, scoring the um, the Go ahead, go for Celtic, man. The second goal for Celtic. Ten minutes later on in the 61st minute, bro. This guy had a phenomenal game, bro. So shout out to him. He looked like one of the players that's really gonna step up for Celtic this season, man. Um Osane Edward, man. So more than likely Celtic gonna um maybe um qualify for the Europa League, man. Definitely gotta get some European football, in my opinion, with Rangers doing very well in the qualification right now. So yeah. Uh good result for them. And uh yeah, so two one in the sixty first minute. Then it was um, Bilal um, Omar, Omrani, the French player, um, equalizing with that penalty. And uh, Ryan Christie, man. Ryan Christie with a great goal in the 76th minute. After they scored that goal, bro, I thought Celtic was a go ahead and win it, bro. Play some good defensive football and had some good counter attack and going forward and probably have to score at least one more goal. Or the game was going to hand in a 3-2 uh, win for Celtic, man. But was i wrong man it was um abdel bilal man Omrani with a great effort by him and scoring a great goal in 88 minute to tie it up man 3-3 in the 88 minute bro this team never gave up bro this stay coming back from the dead bro like no matter how much celtic go ahead bro this team just kept coming back coming back man and celtic was just having a very hard time really coping with their plays bro defensively they couldn't mark them um, very hard time off like even the half uh, the half side trap bro they, they was just beating their half side trap and uh yeah man George took out in man in the 98 minute bro we're able to beat the defense and one on one with the goalkeeper man ship the goalkeeper to score easily bro he looks so confident and just very very good finish by him man that show like he's a very good finisher man and uh George took out Dion, man scoring the winning goal man in the uh, 98 minute man to give the the romanian team the win bro so shout out to george uh talk at the end man great goal by him man. 20 28 year old romanian bro scoring a very good goal and his team is next to the round next to the other round they're gonna play slavia Prague, uh slav Prague, um the team from czech republic man so that should be a very interesting fixture between these two team man and will uh close make it to the um champions league man that'd be very interesting man but Disappointing result for Celtic, man. I think Celtic probably should have won this one. I'm not sure what's going on with them. Uh, Late Griffith, man. I'm not sure what's up with Late Griffith, bro. He used to be very good. He came on as a sub in the um, 70, 70, in the 83rd minute, bro. The 83rd minute after it was 3-3, man. They probably should have brought him on earlier or even started, started them. 
And what's this guy man? What's his name? Uh, Scott Sinclair? That's his name? Scott... No. I forgot. He used to play for Manchester City, bro. I forgot his name, bro. Um, I'm not sure what's up with him. Probably got an injury or something like that, man. But yeah, man. Celtic, bro. Without um this dude, man. Brandon Rodgers, bro. I think you guys not going to have a great season as he did. I think Rangers is about to take it this year, man. Rangers looking very well. Steven Gerrard is doing a phenomenal job as a coach, bro. I'm surprised he's coaching so well. But we should see how Celtic do, man. But hopefully they get qualified for the Europa League. But like, subscribe, man. Shout out to CFR uh, Clutch, man. Shout out to Romania, man. Like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.